What we do about childcare for the second baby since Drake's relatives live so far away. Will it affect your schooling at all? Um, it will affect schooling, my schooling a little bit because it's twins and I don't know exactly when I'm going to go back like to on-campus classes. I'm just probably going to take online for a while. As for childcare, um, Drake's dad and stepmom live around here and his stepmom is actually pregnant. She's due the end of November so um, she might be, she, we haven't really talked about it but she stays home all the time so that's an option. Also my aunt and my grand, my I call her my Grammy. She, um, they both offer a lot, and my grandma offers, and my stepmom offers. So, I mean, my sister offers. Like, I have, I have a lot of options. You said you were on orthotricycline low. I was wondering, is it a mini pill or a combined pill? I have no idea. I know it's low dose. I, I don't know what it's called though. Or I don't know if it was a mini pill or a combined pill. I just know it's orthotricycline low. Are you gonna have baby number two in a hospital or home birth hospital? Are you worried that the same thing will happen with Drake that happened with Gabe? Um, Gabe and Drake are two completely different people. Completely different. And, I mean, it's always, like, on the top of my mind. But, um, they're just, I mean, I don't really know how to explain it. They're completely different people. And the reason me and Gabe didn't work out is because we were, we were two different, completely different people. And we just didn't work out. So I think it's just, um, I think it's going to be a lot better this time than it was with Gabe. Oh wait, what job does Drake have? He works at Golden Corral full time as a server, so he gets tips, which is really good. Alright, okay, sorry, my um, camera died, so I had to plug it in and move. How much do you make from YouTube? Um, I don't really know if I should share that information. Um, I make enough, I'll put it that way. It, said, it says, how would, how would you feel if you found out you were having twins? I am. Um, and if it happened, would you prefer to have twin boys, girls, or one of each? I really want one of each. Um, but really, I don't really have like too much of a preference. What would you do if you found out Lily was switched at birth? Um, you know what your newborn looks like. I, it, that would not happen. But I mean, if it did, then I have no idea what I would do. Have you ever thought about taking the intelligent gender prediction test? Yeah, I have thought about it and I was going to do it. But now I don't know if I am. I think it's just going to be a waste of money because it's twins. Are you going to breastfeed this baby? These babies? Yes, I am. How does Drake feel about breastfeeding if you choose to? He's supportive of it, he just doesn't want to see it, which I told him he has to get over because he's going to see it. Are you and Drake committed to each other? Yes. Is Lily going to be jealous of the second baby when he or she gets here? Um, probably. Have you and Drake talked about not letting the baby break you two apart? Yes. Are you guys thinking about marriage? Yes. Do you plan on making another labor and delivery video? Of course. Will you be doing anything different with the newborn this time around? Um. Not too much, probably no. Around 11.50 in your Being a Teen Mom video, you said, I could have taken more preca precautions to not have a baby. I was on birth control, but I could have done more. I know I could have done more. Do you feel the same way with your second pregnancy? Do you feel that you could have done more to prevent baby number two? And if so, what would you have done differently? Um, worn condoms every single time. How do you get Lilia on a schedule routine? She kind of made her own schedule and routine. Um, I just kind of followed her lead and um, took... Like, you just pick up on cues and stuff like that. Does it get harder or easier as Lilia gets older? It gets harder in ways and it gets easier in ways. It gets easier because um, they can kind of entertain themselves and they can do a lot more for themselves. You don't have to, like, do every single thing for them. But it's harder because um, she understands a lot more and she throws fits and she, she misbehaves more. So um, it's easier and it's harder. Personally, I like the older. I like... Her being older than I do her being younger. Are you going to cloth diaper? Um, I'm thinking about it because now that I have twins I have to weigh out my options because we don't have a washer and dryer here. Um, well we have it on site but it's a dollar per wash and a dollar per dry. Um, like each time you wash something each time you dry something. So I need to weigh out um, all my options of purchasing the cloth diapers and then how much it's going to cost to do all the laundry. Um, if when we move to our next place it has like a built-in washer and dryer then I will definitely consider it but as of right now we're kind of leaning towards disposables until we can find a way to um, wash our diapers conveniently how do you guys make your rent how do you guys do it when rent is so high um, where we live rent is not really that high I mean I guess it's it might be high for other places but in California 525 is like unheard of um, the reason it's so low is because we don't have a pool, we don't have tennis courts, we don't have any kind of luxuries on the campus. It's a really small apartment complex, but it's in a good part of town, which is the main thing that I wanted. So um, 
the reason it's so low is because there's no pool and stuff which we have a pool at my mom's house so we don't need a pool uh, we just got really lucky so um, my advice is to look for apartment complexes that don't have pools I mean if you don't want it if you want it that's different but I think I heard it's like a uh, hundred dollars per tenant to pay um, for the to pay for the maintenance for the pool so um, I'm pretty sure that's why ours is so so low what helped you with morning sickness <sighs> nothing with Lilia um, I would change prenatal vitamins like to ones with more B6 and that helped a little bit but other than that I mean you just kind of got to get through it which trimester is your favorite that's a good question I like the second trimester second trimester is definitely the, the best because you can feel a baby move and that's just like when everything big happens and then you have like the cute belly then when you get your third trimester you get huge and the first trimester you have like all the horrible symptoms so second trimester is definitely my favorite how have your studies in ECE affected your parenting style? I'm assuming that means early childhood, early childhood education, and um, they pretty much just supported my parenting style that I already had because I already, I've already done so much research on um, like breastfeeding and all that kind of stuff, and so all the stuff that I learned in my childhood development classes were just um, or child development classes, they just kind of supported my parenting style. So they didn't really affect my parenting style, um, at least not in a negative way. It didn't. Are you nervous that when you're bigger and you're out with Lily and Drake that people will be staring and judging you? I don't really care about what other people think of me when it comes to that. How long did you breastfeed Lil Lil Lilia? I breastfed her for a year. What are your goals of breastfeeding um, these babies? At the very least a year, um, but preferably longer than that. How soon will you return to work? I keep doing it. Would you ever consider formula feeding? No, not unless something I mean not unless there is no possible way, way that I could breastfeed I formula feeding is not for me can you do an apartment tour yes I keep telling you guys I'm gonna do it and I haven't done it yet yes I'll do it how do your friends feel when they find out you're pregnant again they were just kind of okay with it are you scared of giving birth no would you ever consider getting a cesarean no not unless I had to um will you put up an internet page so you can guess I just about that the baby have its own room, not while they're small. There's no really, there's not really a need for them to have their own room. Um, what kind of sister do you think Lilia will be? I think she'll be a very good big sister. What kind of father do you think Drake will be? I already know he's a great father, and I think he's just going to be just as great to these ones as he is to Lilia. How many kids do I want to have? Preferably four. I know before Lilia was born you were planning on doing sign language with her. Did you ever sign with her at all? Do you plan on signing with uh, to your second baby. I did plan on doing that. I never really felt uh, went through with it. I just, I don't know why. I just, I would forget, I guess. I, I don't really know. Um, second babies, I might. I don't know. I have to think about it. Could you get Drake to do a video on his thoughts about becoming a dad? Uh, yeah, I'll tell him to do that. How does Gabe's family feel about you being pregnant again? I don't know. What's the best part about being a mom? getting to see um, I think it's getting to see the your child develop so much emotionally and physically and just watching your child grow up and you just like look at them and you're just like oh my god like I made I made that kid that one right there and you just think it's like the best I don't I just love being a mom in general I just I don't know I just love it um the hardest part sleep deprivation do people recognize you from your videos when you go out in public? I've been recognized one, twice, one time, twice. I was recognized um, at a restaurant. The waitress was like, I know this is kind of weird, but I was watching your videos last night. <laughs> and when I was in school, when I was still pregnant with Lilia, someone that I didn't know came up to me and said, oh, I watch your videos. Um, one time my mom was on a walk and someone went up to her and said, hey, aren't you Jessica's mom? And she was like, yeah, I am. And also one time my mom was uh, picking up prescriptions and she was like, I'm pretty sure I watch your daughter on YouTube. So we recognized it a few times. How long do you plan on making videos? Um, forever. Will you continue once they are, once, oh, once the kids are in school or will you stop after that? I'm going to keep making them for as long as people are watching. How did you get over Gabe so fast? And what happened with Drake having baby the sex? All right, how did I get over Gabe so fast? Um the whole situation um, nobody really knows the full situation just um, after I mean I'm gonna say it it took me a, a while like we broke up in September and 
for at least the first month I was very like depressed and sad of course and I would cry and there was just one day where I found out some stuff and I was just like forget it like it's meant like it was just meant to be or it wasn't meant to be so I mean I just take every day day by day and I know that everything happens for a reason and I know for a fact now that that was the best decision was to not stay with him I mean I don't I don't know if I'd really call it fast it was just the situation and every all the circumstances I just kind of got over it uh, what was the strongest cravings you've had in this pregnancy or your last one Oh my god, this one, Hot Cheetos. I love, oh my god, I want them now. I want Hot Cheetos. But I love Hot Cheetos, and they're so bad for you. I love big Hot Cheetos, but they only sell them in freaking high school. I can't find them anywhere. So I'm going to, like, give my brother money and tell him to, like, buy me the big Hot Cheetos because I love them, and they're so much better than the not-baked ones. Um, last one, my last pregnancy, lemons. I loved lemons. What do you usually crave? Spicy... Um, Chevy's. Chevy's. That's like a main craving. How long were you and Drake together before you got pregnant? Like eight, eight months? Uh, I don't know, like eight, eight-ish months? How long after, how long after you started having sex did you become pregnant? That's kind of personal. Do you want to have more kids in the future after you are married? I do. What's Lilia's favorite foods? Hmm. Her favorite foods. Everything? I don't know. I can't really limit it. She loves raviolis. And she loves chipotle burgers. And... She loves cheese sticks. Like the string cheese. She'll just hold it and like bite the whole thing off. She loves anything that she can feed herself. Um... Is Lilia still on formula? No. She hasn't been on formula since... She was only on formula for, I mean, a, like a few weeks. And now she's on whole milk now. When do you find out if it's a boy or a girl? We're probably going to make an appointment around 18 weeks. What are you, Drake, hoping for? At least one boy. Does it hurt when your belly button popped? <laughs> no, it doesn't hurt. It just feels kind of weird. How did your parents react when you decided to move in with Drake? Um, they were supportive. Did Lily feel like she wasn't getting enough attention? Or do you think Lily will feel like she's not getting enough attention? She might. Are you going to move into a new apartment? Yes, once our lease is up. What are your biggest fears with having two, well now three children at such a young age? I'm 19, turning 20 before my first is born and I'm scared out of my mind. So I was wondering, what, what is stressing you about this? And what are you not worried about at all when people say you should be? By the way, I think that you're an amazing mom and I hope to be half the mom you are. If not, just as good. That's really sweet. Um, so I guess the question is, my biggest fear is about being a young mom. Um, of course my biggest fears are not being able to provide for them and um, we've lucked out so much so far that we uh, can perfectly support everyone in our family and at the rate we're going we are going to still we're going to continue being able to su support um, our whole family all by um, just by what we're doing um, a lot of people think say that you should be stressed when you're a teen mom about um, not having enough money and I honestly believe that you can do anything if you if you put your mind to it. So if you want to be a good mom, you tell you you tell yourself that you want to be a good mom. You will be a good mom. You just have to put the time. You have to do your homework in a sense, um, because mothering is an instinct. But on the other hand, there's a lot more to it than just instinct. So um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. My question is, if it's another girl, do you think that you will most likely just reuse most of Lily's stuff? Yeah, I'll probably re reuse a lot of her stuff. And are you happy that you're going to have another baby besides the fact that it was a little unexpected? Yes. Could you do a video with Lilia dancing to a song or a video of Drake dancing to Tootsie Roll? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'll ask him to do that. I know you used to co-sleep with Lilia and I co-slept with my daughter. Or co-sleep with your daughter. And I was wondering how you got Lilia to sleep through the night in her crib. I'm also pregnant with my second and I want to uh, get her into her crib before the second baby comes. Getting Lily into her crib was the hardest thing, uh, probably one of the hardest things to do. Um, but she never slept through the night when I was co-sleeping because I was breastfeeding and she would wake up to breastfeed. Once I transferred her to her crib, that's when she started sleeping through the night. So that's w one of the reasons I want to put um, my child in a crib sooner rather than later um, this time around. And I might co-sleep, I just don't know how I'm going to do it with two and Drake in the bed. So 
I don't know, we haven't really thought all this through yet, but um, how did I get her to sleep in her crib is just, you have to be persistent. You have to be in charge of the situation um, to an extent. Um, of course, if they're not, like, you just, you just have to listen to cues. You just have to be persistent. 